They're painting roses? By the way, where am I? I could have sworn I was asleep in my dorm. I feel like I was having the strangest dream. Is someone knocking at the door? the middle of the night, but I think we've got a visitor. Maybe it's those pesky ghosts again? I just don't know when to quit. Who would be here at this hour? Hello? Who is it? Me, Ace! Let me in, all right? Ace? It's the middle of the night. Blah! That color! I can't go back to Hart's Labule House. I'm joining your dorm. For good. Come again? I'd recognize that color anywhere. It's the same one that Psycho stuck on me at orientation. What'd you do to get shackled with that? I ate a tart. You ate a tart? Are you serious? Yeah, that's it. That's all I did. I was a little hungry, see? So I went down to the dorm kitchen and found some tarts in the fridge. Three whole tarts! Big ones, too! Man, I'm still tired from our little adventure. I missed dinner, too, and now I'm starving! Ooh, got anything for me, fridge? Whoa, score! Tarts? <laughs> Those look amazing! And plenty to go around, too! No one would notice if I snagged one teensy little slice, right? <laughs> right! Of course not! Mm. Mm. Mm, so good! I'm in pastry paradise right now! Of course they're good. Trey made them. His tarts are always exceptional. Yeah, but I mean, these are crazy good! Like, he could sell these at... Wait, House Warden! That you would think to touch something of mine! Well, I'm impressed with your audacity, at least. But the Queen of Hearts, Rule 89, is quite clear. Never eat at heart without the Queen's permission. The theft of tarts is a serious crime! Off with your head! And here I am. So the point is you're both terrible. You don't think that it's insane for my magic to get sealed away for eating one slice of tart? For a mage, that's like having your arms and legs bound and shackled. There were three whole tarts! Three! It's not like he could eat them all himself. Come on, you know this is messed up! I guess? It does seem a tad extreme. 
right? Yeah, but... I mean, if there were three of them, they were probably for a party. Maybe it was someone's birthday or something. <laughs> Look at that! I'm like a master detective, too! A birthday party, huh? That would explain it. Did you even apologize? Oh, man! I thought you'd be more sympathetic! I'm a victim of the house warden's tyranny here! Stealing food is a serious offense. Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Tomorrow, go and apologize. If you apologize, I'm sure he'll forgive you. You don't go messing with another man's meal. Hey, wait a minute. I just realized I never got those cans of tuna the head mage promised me. All right, all right, fine. I get that I should apologize. But you're coming with me, you. This was your idea, after all. Oh, I got this. Anyway... You got a place for me to crash tonight. You were serious about that? Outside of the bedroom me and you use, this entire dump is buried under a foot of dust. So if you want to crash, you better start cleaning. Dude, no way! I hate cleaning! Just let me stay with you, you. I'm real slim. I won't take up much space. You wish. Allow me to introduce you to the lounge sofa. You're about as flexible as a brick. Well, fine. The sofa it is. Night! Dude, who is pounding on the door at this hour? <coughs> However he hit kicks up a dust storm. I'm coming, I'm coming. I figured I'd find you here. Ugh, deuce. So, you ate the house warden's tart. You really are an idiot, Ace. Oh, shut up! Like you're one to talk! Anyway, uh, is he uh, still mad? Not at all. Maybe a touch irritated, if anything. A few of our dorm mates overslept this morning. But only three of them got your treatment. You call that not at all mad? Sounds like he's still on the rampage to me. Move it! Out of the way! Night Raven College student coming through! Oh, did my collar catch your eye? It is way better than the one you're stuck with. You know, the one that makes it so you can't use magic. But hey, the school could always use another janitor! <laughs> Way to take the high road, Grim. Trust me, Grim. When I get my magic back, your height is up first on the chopping block. Didn't the head mage just tell you yesterday no more incidents? Regardless, you're not going to be able to participate in class if you can't use magic. So why not just apologize to the house warden? It's a small price to pay for having the collar removed. I hate this so, so much! Hmm, you know, we do still have some time to kill before class starts. And I am kind of curious about the other dorms. Guess I'll go along and scope out the place while you make with the groveling. Since when did this become a field trip?
Dang, this place is swank. This is nothing like our dumpster of a dorm. Our dorm is a work in progress. Comparisons will only make you more miserable. Oh yeah, I am getting my paint on. Uh, someone's here. They all gotta be red or it's off with my head. I've seen this somewhere before. Whoa, deja vu. Huh? You guys need something. What are you doing there? Are you blind? I'm painting these roses red. Duh. What? Why? <laughs> so naive. You put the N in noob. Hold the phone. I know you. You're the ones who broke a billion Thalmark chandelier and nearly got expelled for it. Yeah? That chandelier is going to haunt us till the day we graduate, isn't it? And you, you're the one who ate the house warden's tart that same night. You guys are the hot topic around campus. I've got to get in on this fleeting fame. I'm just going to grab a selfie real quick. It's cool if I post this on Magic Cam, right? Give me your name so I can tag you. I'm Deuce Spade. Ace. I'm Grim. And that's my hench human, you! Uploaded! <laughs> Sweet! Oh, I'm Cater Diamond, by the way. I'm a junior here at Hearts Labiel. But Cater is fine. Or KK, if you're cray cray. So nice to meet ya. Wow, he seems. superficial. Ah, you're the prefect of that so-called Ramshackle House dorm, right? <laughs> like, I can't believe you actually live there. It's all gloomy and looks like hot garbage on Magic Camp. No filter could salvage that dump. You know, you've done nothing but diss us here, pal. Now, what am I doing? I don't have time to chat. The party's tomorrow. If we're not ready, it's off with my head. Hey, you kids want to help me paint some roses? Yeah, uh, why are you doing that exactly? Because red roses are so much more photogenic or uh, something. And after that, I'm going to start getting things ready for the big croquet tournament. And that means coloring all the flamingos. <sighs> You're coloring flamingos now? Isn't anything the right color around here? Now it's coming into focus, Ace. That tart you ate must have been for the House Warden's birthday. That explains his reaction. Hmm? Oh, no, it's not Riddle's birthday. It's not? Then whose birthday is it? It isn't anyone's birthday. Tomorrow's our dorm's traditional unbirthday party. It's a special tea party we throw when no one has a birthday. If the house warden feels like it. Why would you do that? Again with the questions. Listen, I need these roses to be red like yesterday. Can't you guys help out with magic or something? Oh, but Ace is on magical house arrest and you is a total normie. So you two better stick to paint. Recolor the roses with magic? Can't say I've ever done this before. Relax, it'll be fine. You got this. Maybe do it before I lose my head, okay? Thanks. Time to paint these roses. Not pink, not green, not aquamarine. It's rose red or nothing. I'm sure we can bang this out in no time flat, yeah? I don't know if I'm much of a painter, but I'll give it my best shot. With me on the case, this'll be a piece of cake. You, no slacking off, okay?
I think I'm getting the hang of this. Look at me! I can get all of them at once! Yeah! yeah. Nope. Gotta do it more like this. Ha! <laughs> nice one! Yes, being a junior does count for something. Thanks! Keep this up and we'll be done before you know it. Did you see? I got it red in one shot! Yeah, same here. Looking good. You just smooth it out a little more and you'll be golden. The trick is to picture a real red rose in your head when casting. That really helps. Thanks! Red rose. Oh, man. Red rose. I want to use magic! Turned blue? Change, old foul color! Change! Aha! Uh, the rose caught on fire! Oh, wow! You're even less competent than I thought! Yo! Maybe you should just leave the roses white! They look perfectly pretty and stuff to me! It's a matter of tradition. You can't have an unbirthday party without the roses being red. And you can't play croquet without seven colored flamingos as mallets and a hedgehog for a ball. Oh, but of course, the roses need to be white when the garden flowers put on their spring concert. That's absolutely crucial. All your rules are completely insane! They say the Queen of Hearts made up these rules herself. She was one of the grade seven, you know. And Riddle is all about tradition. Probably more than previous House Warden's TBH. I'll admit that he's, well, <laughs> a bit extra. Yeah, no kidding. I sure don't have time for this nonsense. Is Riddle here? I gotta talk to him. Yeah, probably. But are you sure that's wise? Did you even bring an apology tart to replace the one you ate? Uh, no. I came here first thing in the morning! <laughs> that could be a problem. Have you forgotten rule 53? Stolen items must be replaced. If you're not in compliance, I can't let you in. Are you serious? All dorm residents must obey the rules. If I let you slide, and be off with my head next. I hate to say it, Ace, but I'm gonna need you to leave before Riddle spots you. Thanks. I think this guy is for real. You guys do something! Why should we do anything? Come on, please! I can't use my magic! Hurry, he's... Click share on my awesomeness. I don't need brute strength to fight. Gotcha! Yeah, yeah. Alrighty, you I'll save you. Me, you know. Take that! Yeah. First here. Yeah. You little! Uh, I'll finish this right now. Let's do it to it! Guess I got him. <laughs> uh, this one's gonna look amazing! 
you go. Yeah. I got this. Sure. How's that? Yeah. Guess I got yeah. it. Yeah. How'd you like yeah. that? Got it! Well Yahoo! done! You thought you could beat me? <laughs> Do make sure you bring that tart next time, okay? <laughs> bye bye now! Was that guy for real?! We hit him over and over, but he just kept coming. Maybe he was using some kind of illusion magic? So, let me get this straight. We walked in there, totally tartless, but this dude still made us do the whole song and dance before throwing us out! He just wanted to make us paint his stupid roses! We sure look like a bunch of chumps. I guess we'll just have to get an apology tart and come back. Maybe after class we can... <gasps> oh no! What's wrong? We already missed the first bell! We're gonna be late for class! Wow! I don't want to get a blemish on the first day of my glorious Night Raven education! Shake a leg, chumps! To the classroom! Pronto! Hey, so, uh, what class are you guys in anyway? You're a freshman too, right? The head mage said we're in class 1A. Hey, that's the same one I'm in! We got Potionology for first period. Well, <laughs> yeah! That sounds awesome! Maybe I don't need magic for that. Ah, you must be my new homeroom students. Hmm, that's quite the unusual coat of fur. Do make sure that you arrive properly groomed. My name is Divis Cruel. You may call me Master Cruel. Now, take your seats. Class is about to begin. We are going to start with the basics. And by that, I mean beating the names and distinguishing characteristics of 100 herbs and poisons into your tiny brains. The mycelia are another matter. But eventually, I'm hopeful you'll be able to take a walk without putting anything poisonous into your gaping maws. For now, I realize you have all the self-control of voracious hounds. But I will not abide a single student failing this class. Expect to be drilled accordingly. Huh. So, does anyone know what a mycelia is? I've never been one for, like, memorizing what things are, you know. All I care about is how to tell the yummy plants from the yucky ones. I am your History of Magic teacher, Moses Train, and this is my familiar, Lucius. You are here to learn the rich history of magic, and how it has sculpted the world which you now so easily take for granted. I grade based on classroom behavior, as well as the quality of work. Don't let me catch you sleeping. Now. Let us open our books to page 15. This section concerns the mage stones discovered in the dwarves' mine. As knowledge and awareness of magical energy began to spread across the globe from this point, this year is considered year one of the magic era.
fascinating. Dwarf's mine. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Magical energy. Man, when do we get to the classes where we blow stuff up with magic? I'm Coach Vargas, and physically educating your feeble little bodies is my responsibility. Great sorcery begins with a great physique. Behold, the muscles you can build with a diet of rags. A great mage needs a great physical constitution. So give me 20 laps and 100 push-ups. Yeah, bleh. Forced exercise is bad enough. But meatheads like this guy drive me nuts. Finally, a subject I'm good at. Explain to me the appeal of running around in circles. Do I look like a hamster? Let's see. Our next class is... This so-called magic academy feels a lot like a lame ordinary school. It's not exactly what I expected, but at least this collar won't be much of a problem after all. You with me on that, Grim? Hmm? Huh, where'd Grim go? I have a bad feeling about this. Look out the window! I just saw a ball of fur running across the yard! No way am I putting up with this boring routine day in and day out! I'm Grim, Sorcerer Prodigy, and I don't need no one to teach me how to blow stuff up! He's cutting class on the first day? The head mage is going to be furious. Boy, that guy is not a fast learner. Oh, not a good look to lose your only student on your first day as prefect. Want help catching him? Yes, thank you. Please, Ace, please, Deuce. I do love the chocolate croissants at the co-op. I'd do it for a nice latte at the cafeteria. <sighs> Grim's getting away. Do we have a deal or what? Done and done. I'm counting on you. Pleasure doing business. Now, Deuce, shall we clean up the mess made by the worst prefect to ever set foot on campus? I can already taste that latte, Ace. Better head to class and be a good little gremlin if you know what's good for you. You're not really gonna haul me back, are ya? For freebies? I'd haul you back twice. What does that even mean? No way I'm going back to those dumb, boring classes. You can't make me. You two are so annoying! Are you ready to throw it in and behave for the prefect? I said no, and I meant it! Yikes! I expected some difficulty, but this is ridiculous!
Tiens I summon thee, cauldron! <laughs> Score one swag lunch for us! <sighs> Back to class you go, Grim. Oh, sure. Now you guys are in perfect sync. <laughs> <laughs>